Hi guys and welcome to Strength Universe. Before we start I'd like to say thanks to Spagafats5000 for suggesting a video about the strength of Alexander Kriling, who was born in Novosibirsk, Russia on the 19th of September 1967. Alexander stands 6 foot 4 inches tall and competed in the super heavyweight class which had a limit of 130 kilograms or 286 pounds. We start when Alexander's mother had the unenviable task of giving birth to him as a 5.5 kilogram or 12 pound baby. Prior to wrestling, Alexander took part in many sports at school including boxing, weightlifting, basketball, skiing and swimming and was said to have excelled in all the sports that he tried. Alexander was always naturally big and upon first entering the wrestling gym at 13 years old he was already 5 foot 10 and a half inches tall and weighed 79 kilograms or 175 pounds. At first his coach Viktor Konetskov was skeptical about this big undeveloped boy, yet he accepted Krellin and pushed him to train hard both in wrestling technique and physical strength. As a result over the next few years Krellin progressed from 0 to 42 pull ups. Kirillin went on to become a junior European champion and two-time world champion in 1985 and 87, but he was just getting started. As a senior he was a European champion 12 times, world champion 9 times and won 3 consecutive Olympic gold medals. His conditioning and quickness combined with his dominance of the sport led him to being known as the experiment, due to the belief that his dominance was due to the use of performance enhancing drugs. Krellin retired from the sport following his silver medal at the 2000 Olympic Games. At that point his wrestling record stood at 887 wins and only 2 losses, both of which were by a single point. But how strong was Alexander Krellin? And as part of his normal training he is said to have routinely used a pair of 32kg or 71 pound kettlebells for various arm exercises. According to an article on the Bleacher Report, Krellin is said to have clean and pressed over 190 kilograms or 420 pounds, which according to strengthlevel.com is an elite level of strength, and places Alexander in the top 3% of lifters of a similar age and body weight. According to the website Aussie, he would routinely bench press 204 kilograms or 450 pounds or so. And although the article doesn't specify if this was for repetitions, even a single rep would rank him as an advanced level lifter. According to Finnish wrestler Tuomo Kurilla, he observed that Alexander Kurillin was able to do around 50 chin-ups within a minute. The final gym lift comes from a publication called Easy Strength, How to Get a Lot Stronger Than Your Competition and Dominate in Your Sport in which on page 44 it is claimed Alexander Krellin worked up to an incredible 10 repetitions with 200 kilograms or 440 pounds in the Zercher deadlift. And finally, in my opinion the most reliable and interesting evidence of Alexander Krellin's strength is the fact that he competed at the 1991 European Hercules Strongman competition where he finished in 8th place out of the 10 competitors, with the podium positions going to Riku Kiri, Jamie Reeves and Jean-Paul Sigmundson. On the 21st of February 1999, Kirillin took part in what would be recorded as his first and only mixed martial arts match, when he defeated Akira Maeda in a shoot wrestling contest put on by rings called the Final Capture. Later that year, Alexander Krellin entered politics when he was elected a deputy of the State Duma that year. He sat in a Duma through various convocations until 2020, when he entered the Federation Council as a senator. That brings me towards the end of the video, but as always it would be great to hear your opinions, so please leave a comment below letting me know what you think of Alexander Krellin's achievements and strength. I've left credits and social media links in the description below, so please check those out and give them a follow. And finally, if you enjoyed the video, please help to support the algorithm by smashing like, sharing the video, and if you haven't done so already, by subscribing. Thank you.